I built the worst alarm clock in the entire history of the known universe. And I have nothing but regrets. My fellow humans, I bid you welcome. Nobody ever asked for that, but here's my morning routine. I'm not a morning person, and by that I mean that in the morning I'm not a person. I'm a bag of flesh filled to the brim with hatred and disdain. Just like the rest of the day, but somehow worse. Last Friday I was talking to a human who told me that he wakes up early, cooks a healthy breakfast, runs to the gym, and then goes to work feeling energetic and ready to face the day. Oh really? I'm so happy for you! I genuinely hope you choke on your milkshake. Hence, I thought, why should I be the only one feeling miserable in the morning? That's unfair! The entire humankind should feel my pain and wake up grouchy after a night of unrestful sleep. And I know exactly how to share my suffering. Dear FBI agent who watches my videos, this is not a bomb. No, 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 this is something much, much more dreadful. It's the embodiment of every single thing I hate about clocks, made ten times worse. Let me give you a quick tour. First and foremost, this is an alarm clock, one of the most unpopular objects on the planet. Except, this one is fully automatic. Common store-bought alarm clocks are so basic and boring they even let you choose when you want to wake up. But with this one, <laughs> you don't have such luxury. Here on the back you can see a phototransistor, a small sensor that can detect changes in lighting conditions. When you turn off the lights and go to sleep, the clock decides for you when it will go off and wake you up. Could be 5 minutes, could be 6 hours, who knows? Isn't that exciting? Forget about the anxiety of setting your alarm for the next morning. You can peacefully fall asleep knowing that you will be woken up at a random hour of the night. It's like having an infant. Minus the poop. But that's not even the best part! Modern people are now used to waking up with their favorite song or at the relaxing sound of the ocean waves. Heck, I even have an app that gives me philosophical quotes for a quick morning meditation! How lame is that? Oh, fuck off, Diogenes, it's Saturday morning. That is awful! We should go back to our roots and wake up according to nature. In an overwhelming state of fear, agitation and dismay. And here is where my invention really shines. Welcome to my bed, the place where the magic happens. If by magic you mostly mean crying. I reprogrammed the alarm to go off in a couple of minutes instead of hours, so that I can give you a simple demonstration. So, as soon as we turn off the lights, the program switches to alarm mode and gives me an ominous message. Now that I know that it will go off at a random time and scare the shit out of me, I just lay down and relax. Five minutes later. <laughs> Madonna mia, che ansia! <sighs> One nap later. And there you go, you wake up at the sound of a thousand jackhammers and with a beautifully motivational quote. Today I got no one missed you, but there's a lot of them, like good morning loser, do your best, it won't be enough, or another horrible day begins. Now I am wide awake and ready to start my day. This thing is loud! Do you think that's all? Oh, you silly sausage, of course not! One of the things that drives me completely nuts are repetitive noises, like people chewing, electrical interference, or, you guessed it, clock sticking. 
like I get viciously angry when there are clocks ticking. When I was a kid, I woke up in the middle of the night to hide a wall clock in the fridge. My parents' reaction in the morning was priceless. I implemented the ticking functionality in my design. If you click this button, the clock will start ticking. But not every second. Oh no, no, that will be borderline bearable. It will tick at irregular intervals. I'm going to commit several hate crimes against watchmakers. Ah! <laughs> Last but not least, are you familiar with these atrocious contraptions? They take the insufferable ticking of a clock, make it louder and then add a bloody bird who screams every half an hour. Why would anyone invent something like that? I took the idea and made it worse. There will be no bird singing but a sharp metallic buzz at 4000 Hz, the exact peak of human hearing sensitivity. Ah! Again, this buzz will come up at random intervals every few minutes to make it even more annoying and stressful, and it will be accompanied by another set of depressing quotes to constantly drain every possible joy out of your day. Ah! Ah, madonna mia! Ah! I'm not sure what this project tells about me, but one thing's for sure. I want to make the world a better place. In fact, I'm searching for a company willing to cooperate to bring this product to the market so that everyone on the planet can have their own version of the Nightmare Alarm Clock. And I can become disgustingly rich in the process. Just kidding, this is all public domain. You can build your own. If you dare. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did or didn't, please, as always, let me know with likes, dislikes or comments so that I can keep stressing on how much everyone hates me. Oh, and uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, where you can contribute to ruining my wardrobe. Welcome to those who subscribed in the last weeks. I'm quite certain you're already questioning why you did that, but ha, too late. Now go and spread the word so that I can actually find someone willing to produce and sell my crappy inventions. That would be amazing. See you next time. Take care.